Not too bad yourself. Oh, doing well, doing well. Having a good Sunday. Start. Do you know what? It's about 30 degrees here in Ireland. It's a rarity. I think the last oh. time happened about four years ago. So uh, enjoying every minute of it. Oh, nice. Very nice. Nice. What time is it there? It's what, uh, seven o'clock? No, no, no. I oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, so you're five hours ahead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's all good. So, um, yeah, no. So oh, I'm breaking up. Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. So yeah, love to hear. Um, love to hear about higher bid and what you guys got going on. It's in the very early stages at the moment. Just still trying to build up on uh, just the funding side of things to get the platform built. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hi. Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. That's cool, man. You know what? I don't, I don't always get the best uh, uh, service in my, in my home, so. I've, I've kind of played it safe and gone and sat right next to the rooster, so. All, all right. So, um, so, yeah. So, you, so, all I heard was that you're in the you're in early stages of, of everything. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're, 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 we're just starting to get ready. Um, like I'm looking to try and get some investments to try and help build the platform the high bit to try and sort of change the way in which recruitment agencies interact with, uh, I suppose the, the employers out there. Um, I think the, the industry itself is one of the, the few industries left that really hasn't found a way in technology to grow to that next level. You think of other businesses, you know, the big, big, um, apps and, and, uh, IT systems out there, they are, you know, they, they've moved on to the next level. So they've made it something completely different. And I think look online, there's hundreds, there's thousands of companies out there actually offering ways to simplify recruitment for companies, uh, offering ways to automate their, their systems and, and to put all their, their job specs onto all the different websites, which is fine and great, but it still doesn't solve the one fact of recruitment agency costs are very high. You know, they've traditionally been, I worked in recruitment about 10, 15 years ago. And traditionally, the costs were around about 20% of that permanent position uh, of that salary was the, was the fee. That hasn't changed. That's literally stayed where it is. Um, and so what I'm looking to try and do is build a, a bidding platform so that recruitment agencies can look to um, increase the business development. But employers basically get their job spec. They put it out online. It goes out to a number of recruiters that are either whitelisted uh, or been invited to bid. And those recruiters will look at the job spec, send a little pitch back with, a little, uh, with the, their fee that they're bidding for it, which invariably is going to be lower than 20% because obviously it's going to be a competitive market. Um, and then obviously that employer then gets to accept the certain bids. And, and if, that, if that recruitment agency wants to attach a, a, a CV for, for, for um, reference sake, then, then they can do that. But it, what it does is it allows recruitment agencies to increase their business development increase their, uh, the chances of sales, but at the same time help drive down the cost for the employers. So, so in today's kind of current day and age, um, I just want to make sure I understand. So there's a couple of ways. If you're, if you're an employer, you're looking to hire a new yeah. position. Uh, there's a couple of yeah. ways for, employee, for an employer to do that. Um, one, they could directly do it. They could go to yeah. you know, LinkedIn and, and post a job. They could go to you know, Indeed or, or, or Monster or whatever it may be. Um, or they could go to a recruitment agency. Um, you know, typically they would select one recruitment agency, um, if I'm correct, and then they would, you know, hire that agency and then ultimately pay a 20% yes. fee on the salary that that recruitment agency gets them the employees. Exactly, yeah. Right? Okay. Um, are there typically, if you're an employer, or do you typically only work with one recruitment agency or do you work with more? Generally speaking, there's normally what's referred to as a PSL, preferred supply list. So they would invariably have maybe series one and series two. So the series one would be maybe three recruitment agencies they initially go to. That's their first choice every single time. So they send the jobs out to those guys. 
And then if those three guys, uh, three companies can't um, fill that position, then they go out to, seri- uh, to either the second round or just open it out to the market. Okay. Okay, gotcha. So, so your positioning is that, hey, you know, don't hire a recruitment agency for 20%. Come to our platform. Um, and we're going to connect you with many different recruitment agencies who are going to bid on your business. Yeah, exactly. So the idea is it's a very competitive market. Um, the idea is to, to say, look, you may, you may be having, you may have your preferred guys. You may have the people you want to deal with, but at the end of the day, they may not be the best person or the best company to fill that specific position. So what we're saying is, look, you can blacklist, you can whitelist, you can just invite specific um, uh, agencies to, to bid on this. But at the end of the day, mm-hmm. what we're trying to, to say to them is um, these guys will bid and they will lower the price. So you could invariably say for a 40000 uh, a, a year job, that fee is invariably going to be eight grand. Now, even if that fee is reduced down to 15%, that's two grand saved by that organization straight away just on that one recruitment hire. Okay. 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 And, and how – so the recruitment company – you know, they're taking, you know, they're, they're taking less yeah. on their fees. Now, are they are generally practice? Are they able to do that? You know, do they need that full 20% to be profitable themselves? Or um, are they able to take 15%, 10%, whatever? They can take 15, they can take 10%. But do you know what? If, if, if a recruitment agency could have gotten away with 30% 10, 15 years ago, they would have done. Um, right. You know, it's, it's money into the day. What they generally do with their recruitment staff is they will say, okay, fine. The first three, 5,000... Uh, quid that your pounds you, you're uh, you're billing you don't get commission on that after you after you've earned that initial mm-hmm. five grand uh, billing in that month you then earn commission after that so it mm-hmm. basically covers that employee's wages and some more before they have to start paying commission so they're, they're getting the money back straight away for that employee starting for them in the first place mm-hmm Gotcha. So, so how do you guys make money? What's your, what's your mind? The idea is that um, we're right. looking, we would look to turn around and say to them, look, we will take say 10%, 15% of that billing fee. So for example, on a, on an, uh, let's go back to the 40 grand a year job. Uh, it, say that fee, that, um, that amount is uh, 15%. Okay. We, the, the overall fee is six grand. We would take either 600 or, or 900 out of that for that one particular uh, position. Gotcha. Okay. And, and who do you take that? Well, from? we basically the idea is that we would we would uh, in order to make things a lot easier for the employer because the employer doesn't have to set up 10, 20, 30 different uh, recruitment agencies onto their uh, their billing platform. So what we say is, look, you you we bill you directly, we invoice you directly, and then when the funds come in from the organisation, we then send that money over to X recruitment agency minus our fee. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so it's coming from the recruitment agency yeah. side. Gotcha. Um, so, so where are you guys at right now? What's uh, where, where are you at in, in your business? I, you said you're early stage. Have you have you actually launched? That? No, we're we're still. I'm still just working through the 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 insets of actually building the platform itself in the first place. Uh, it's obviously it's a it's a complicated okay. platform, so it's expensive. So that's part of the reason why I, I I need funding in order to be able to help try and get that platform built so I can actually start approaching um, empl- employ- employers officially for that. So, so you need, so, so you need the employers because theoretically you get the employers. It'll be easy to get the agency. Yeah. The, the, that's where we'll start. We'll go to the employers and, and the, the big thing that we're doing that's different to anything else out there is that we're not saying is it's a hundred, hundred a month fee, 200 quid a month fee. We're saying we'll work. This is for free for you. So it's, it's a no-brainer for you to engage in this platform, and, and and if it saves you two grand, it saves you two grand. That you know, it, it's, it's a win-win uh-huh. situation. And the idea with the with the recruitment agencies, there will be hesitancy. I, I have spoken to a number of agencies already, um, and there is hesitancy over. Um, obviously, look, we don't want to do this because we're just going to, you know, what happens if you start taking our um, our clients, and other people start bidding on them, uh-huh. and. The argument back to them is, look, at the end of the day, if you're, you're, you know, you're a service-led industry, if your service is as strong and as hungry as it should be, there is no issues there. They could just invite you, maybe two others, to bid on this, this platform. What we're doing is we're saying is, look, we're opening this platform, uh, this opening, the business development, for more companies and making it so much easier. You don't have to do all the cold calling. You don't have to do all the cold visits. Turn up with a little bag of uh, treats to try and make yourself be remembered. It's... Um, 
at the end of the day, if you guys don't make money, we don't make money. And that and that's the, so the it's, big it's, thing. It's, it, it's give and take, right? They, you know, they may ask that question, but in the same sense, they're having the opportunity to get more business exactly. on the platform through yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, I love I love the idea because you know, just from you know, just from my perspective, um, hiring is never no. easy, right? It's always kind of <clears> like a you know, something that we you know, that, that we, you know, we're actually looking for a new position within our company right now. Um, and, and I hate the process. Yeah. It's, it's the worst, it's the worst process having to, you know, what do you do? Do you go to an agency and pay crazy fees? Like you're saying, do you, you know, try the whole thing on yourself, which takes a lot of time and effort. Um, you know, it's just, it, it's just kind of something I never like to yeah. do. Um, so I, I could see, I could see how this is beneficial. Um, so what's, what's kind of the state of, you know, of, of the financial side, have you put money into it yourself or, or walk me through kind of the structure of the business? Right At now? the moment, it's about as early as you could possibly get. So I'm going to be brutally honest there. Um, you know, hey, so hey, re- repeat, what... can you say that again? I, I broke up with you there. Say that one more time. <laughs> Sorry, man. Yeah. Being brutally honest, it's probably at the earliest stage you can probably find right now. At the moment, I'm I'm saving money up together mm-hmm. up myself to try and put money towards building the platform. I've I've been to um, a couple of development agencies. I've been quoted around about twelve thousand, uh, ten to twelve thousand euros, roughly, to to build the platform that I that, that seems, the basic pretty, platform that I yeah, want. Yeah, seems pretty cheap. Um, seems pretty cheap. So 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 really, you haven't. So this is kind of just an idea right now, then, right? It's, it's, it's idea phase where I'm, I'm building the business plan at the moment. I've applied for, a, um, in Ireland, they like to offer grants for, for, for different aspects of people looking yeah, to start up that. their own yeah. business. Yeah. yeah. So uh, at the moment, I'm applied for the, the feasibility grant um, to try and obviously improve that. But I'm trying to get the funds together to effectively get that, that, that product built so I can then start again, basically going live with it. There's a lot, yeah, a lot of entrepreneurship coming out of Ireland, isn't there? There's a there's a huge amount, absolutely huge. I mean, <clears throat> they do the Ireland's best young entrepreneur. They've got Enterprise Ireland. They've got the local enterprise office, uh, and also you know they've got the high potential startup fund as well. You know, grant given to to organisations that have an MVP, um, but are looking to go up to that next level. Gotcha. Okay. So, how much money do you think you need? Uh, what are you asking for right now? I'm, <clears throat> excuse me. Sorry, <clears throat> losing my voice. Uh, I'm looking for about twenty thousand. To, um, to to get the platform up and to get the, the the peripherals all sorted, so I can go out there and start basically building this business up. Yeah, but you're gonna need you're gonna need money very very soon after that, right? I mean, twenty. 000, I will, but the, the idea. No. <laughs> the idea is, I need. I just want to get the. I want to get the MVP. I want to get the, the platform built. Once I have the platform built, then, you know, I'm going to try and operate as obviously as lean as possible, but basically go out there and go to all these, uh, the, the, the companies out here and the agencies and basically look to try and get a, uh, these people signed up. Gotcha. Okay. Now tell me about your team. Um, is it just you or, or do you have? Um, it's just me. Just you? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, how do you envision yourself going out and actually getting the employers? So basically, um, there's there's a number of networking events that happen around here in Ireland. Uh, there's obviously the Chamber of Commerce within Cork as well, which you can be a member of. Again, that gets you uh, uh, speaking to these organisations. Uh-huh. So uh, networking is obviously one of those, but the other thing is just literally ring on the ring on the doorbell and and go in and speak to the speak to them, show them the platform, show them how it works, explain the kind of uh, money they could be saving by utilising something like this, um, and just getting myself in there and getting them signed up to it. Okay. Okay. Have you developed a, you know, a, a short term and, and near term and long term plan um, for all these aspects? Because, you know, I mean, l- listen, I, like I said, I love the idea. Um, I think there's a lot more that's going to go into it than, than, you know, you're speaking of right now. Um, you know, you're going to need a lot more money. You're going to need support staff to, you know, to really grow, to get the employers on board, to, you know, for the marketing aspect, to get, um, to get those those folks on board, to get the recruiters on board as well. Um, I mean, there's yeah, there's a lot that's going to go into this. Have have you created those plans um, to you know you know both financially as well as um, you know business plan wise? Yeah, I, I've I've started I've started building that together. I've got most of that pretty much all done now. So, to be honest, right now, what I think what I want to do is I want to start. Look, I'm here in Cork. It's you know it's a it's a it's a great place here in Ireland. Um, it's it's very entrepreneurial. There's a lot of business, but it's very condensed. It's very, very, you know, it's, it's certain areas. 
So the idea is I want to try to, like I said, get that platform built. Um, and the very, very beginning is basically me going out there, meeting these people, getting them signed up. Um, I want to get everything refined whilst I'm here in Cork and then look to try and push that out to obviously other areas within Ireland, but also the UK as well. Gotcha. Okay. Um, what's and then background? after, and then once my, my background is I, I worked in recruitment for, um, for about, uh, God, about three, four years, mm-hmm. uh, many, many, many moons ago, probably about uh, eight, 10 years ago now. Um, but I've been working in, uh, IT sales. So I've worked for organizations like McAfee, VMware, Apple as well as, um, as account managers. Mm-hmm. Um, and at the moment I've, I'm, I'm basically, I'm working for a, a scheme that basically helps long-term unemployed find full-time work. Mm-hmm. And that also includes helping people who want to set up their own new business, help them set up a new business as well. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So, so you, um, so it's good because by the way, I can't see your screen right now. Your screen went black. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Um, but ah. you know, but it's good because you have, you have the experience in, in this space, in this recruitment space, you saw a need and now you want to try to address it and change it, um, which I like, so. which is great. You know, the, the only thing is I'll say is, um, you know, have you, you know, have you tried to go the friends and family route? Because what you're trying to raise right now, you know, is not a lot of money, right? You're very, very early. You have an idea. It's a great idea. You're working on a plan. Um, and what you're trying to raise right now you know, is, is not a lot of money and it's, and it's, um, it's really not going to get you very far. It's only going to get you a platform, um, you know, and maybe even, you know, part of a platform. I'm not sure, you know, ultimately when you, when you start building, you know, sometimes it takes a lot more money than you, you originally anticipate. Mm. Um, you know, have you tried to go the friends and family route before really kind of raising money from outside investors yet? I have. Yeah. I mean, that was, that was, that was my, that was my first point of call. Okay. Um, but it, it, it's, it's, it's not a, it's not a go, unfortunately. Okay. And it's something that you're, you're not able to, um, you're not able to, to self fund in this initial stage. So, uh, say that again. Oh, it's something that you're not able to self fund in this initial, in this initial stage. Yeah, ex- exactly. That's exactly, that's exactly it. Okay. Um, look, if I, if I, if I could hundred percent, I'd be out there building it, going out there and speaking to people. Um, at the end of the day, look, um, the, the very early stage I appreciate is going to, it will require funds to, to grow further as it, as it develops. The idea is that I'm a sales guy. I have been, I've been an account manager. Uh-huh. I can get into there and I can get into the organizations and, uh, uh, and sell this platform to both the recruiters and the companies. It's more, it's, it's more about just getting something there so I can show to them. So it's going to be very basic, but it's going to do what it needs to do. Uh-huh. After which once, you know, once the, you know, things start developing on after that. I, I have ideas about how I want to, the, the platform to grow, ideas on where it should go and, and who and, and what I will need in order to try and facilitate that uh-huh. further growth. Uh-huh. Listen, yeah. I, I, um, you know, I, lo- I love the concept. I really do. And I see that there's definitely a need for it for, for a lot of different um, companies and organizations and, and different industries out there, both employers and, and the um, and the recruitment agencies, you know, for, for us, I think on our side, you know, listen, we do, you know, we do get involved with startups. Um, we do get involved with very early stage companies. Um, I think it's just a little, a little too early, right? What okay. you have, what you have is, is a great idea. Um, you know, you're working on the business plan, you're working on the model. Um, you know, I, I don't know if, I don't know if you're there yet though. You know, I don't know if, if, you know, it doesn't sound like you've got everything figured out. Um, you know, it's, it, it's, 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 you know, you're at a very early stage, um, in the sense where, you know, we look for, we look for, um, companies that have, you know, that have the team that have, um, a, you know, a little bit more to it than this right now. Um, mm-hmm. so, you know, like I said, I like what you're doing. I think it's a little too early for, for us to get involved at this point. Okay. No, no, I appreciate the feedback. Look, I mean, I will, I mean, I will get this up and running. It's going to take some time, yeah. but I will get up and running. But, you know, I'd love to, 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 to hound you down again one day once it's up and running again, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll give you, I'll give you my contact info and love to stay in touch because, um, you know, are, are you planning on hitting Ireland first? Is that, is that the plan? The idea is just because it's, I'm here. You yeah. know, I'm, yeah. I'm here in Ireland. Um, but, you know, in, in the UK, it's a massive, massive business. Uh, I mean, it's, it's crazy the number of, in, in the UK alone, last year, um, 
818 recruitment agencies started every single month. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, you, wow. you've got 9,000 9, 9, recruitment agencies started business last year. And I wonder, you know, I wonder even, what those numbers are in the U.S. also. I'm sure. I'm sure they're even bigger. <laughs> Well, you've got to think about it. Recruitment consultants, yeah. at the end of the day, they are sat there um, working their asses off to try and bring in, you know, an eight grand, 10 grand bill. And they walk away with 10, 15 percent of that. You know, there's only yeah. so many times, especially with a, when they have a, a close relationship with an organization. Can they take that? Will they turn around and say, well, actually, do you not know screw this? Why am I doing this? I want the other 85 percent of that. So, you yeah. know, I'm going to go out on my own, take that organization with me. Um, you know what? And it's them that, um, that will have the full benefits of this platform because then they can turn around and go, do you know what? If I don't make it, if I don't do, um, if I don't bid anything this month, I, I don't eat, you know, we'll see exaggeration, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's the sure. idea is, is, is their business. So they will be more hungrier. They will actually put the, a stronger pitch in. They will find the right CV to add to their pitch. Um, mm-hmm. and, and they'll be more inclined to, to, to really try and embrace a platform like this. It's going to increase their sales. Who's your competition right now? Do you have any competition out there? Yeah, there's a couple. Um, so um, in, in the US, there's a company called Smart Recruiters. Yep. I don't know if you've heard of them. Um, yep, yep, I have. Yeah, they're all encompassing. They've done three rounds of funding and stuff like that. So they've got a lot of, lot of weight behind them. They have opened up a marketplace doing something similar to this. But the difference that they do is that they charge for people to be on that platform. It's, a, it's an add-on service that people pay for initially so they're still having yep. to go out and sell uh and again similar there's a there's a company here in ireland in dublin called bid recruit uh who opened up gotcha. the okay. beginning of last year i haven't heard of them still irish based at the moment but again they're going out and they're charging employers um to be on the platform before okay. a- anything else happens so the, the idea is that look, i could you know this platform is not going to be charging fees where it may do something down the line if we offer additional functionality, but the very early stages to build a market share, we're not going to charge a single penny apart Got from it. success rates. Sure. Sure. You want to, yeah, but you have to have a model for that, right? You have to have a model to, to be able to do that. So, all right. So listen, I love the, I love the idea. I love the concept. Let me give you my email address. What I'd like you to do is send me, um, send me as much information that you have. I don't know if you have any plans that are, that are already there. Um, but if not, mm-hmm. then I can wait until you, until you get those completed. Um, I love to kind of look into your competitors also and see see what they're doing and then how you differ and how you could, you know, kind of create a unique edge to them. Um, yeah. Because I mean, you know, if these guys are out there. They've already raised three rounds of funding. Um, how are you gonna How are you gonna you know go head to head with them? Um, so uh, as much info as you can send me, um, I love to I love to kind of take a look and and, and stay in touch because, like I said, I think it's a great concept. I, I really do. And um, you know, I think once you get kind of past this initial phase um you know we like mm-hmm. to see a little little bit more meat um but here take my email address down it's brian I will do, yeah, B- no. it's yep. brian b-r-i-a-n at kevin harrington dot tv no problem at all brian so what i do is um yeah i'll get all that information together and i'll uh, i'll send that over to you and i'll keep in touch cool. i appreciate your time though awesome yeah likewise thank you so much all right mate. have a good one cheers thanks a lot all right, you too. All right bye-bye. <laughs>